So as summer comes to a close, a lot of you guys are going to be heading back to school in late August and also early September. And in today's video, I'm going to be helping you guys out by covering exactly how to balance school in Fortnite to the best of your ability. Competitive Fortnite has an extremely demanding amount of time required for you guys to actually succeed and go pro. And if you're playing competitive, it's going to be really tough to balance that with school unless you follow these exact tips that I'm about to give you. Now be sure to use code SonataYT in the Fortnite item shop if you guys do want to support me. Let's hop right into this video. So to begin, I just want to let you guys know there are tons of Fortnite pros that are currently playing that all go to school. These are pros such as Kanata, Vadil, Reason, Chapix, Agers, and many more players all attend school full time. Some of them even decide to play sports alongside their school. And even after all of this, they're able to successfully play Fortnite, play all the tournaments, scrim and practice and continue to improve and adapt with the new seasons. Now, in terms of the first tip that I'm actually going to give you guys in terms of the balance, this is going to be that school always comes first, no matter what. Essentially, what this means is that you definitely need to try your hardest in class and then pay attention. A lot of kids who play Fortnite will sometimes have shorter attention spans and kind of drone out when it comes to being in school. You don't want to zone out in school simply because that's going to lead to you guys ruining your grades which is really not that good, especially if you guys are trying to put your best foot forward in terms of school. You also need to understand that once you do get home from school, you need to finish your homework and do anything else such as studying, chores, sports, etc. All of that needs to be done before you start getting onto Fortnite and playing. Sure, you can definitely take a break, maybe go outside for a walk, maybe get some exercise, maybe go ahead and eat a meal, but it's important that you 100% focus on finishing all of your work before you start playing the game. What you need to understand is that maintaining good grades is key. And for most people, good grades tend to mean around A's or B's, but obviously some people have different expectations, but nonetheless, what matters is that you and your parents meet the expectations that you set for yourselves. Not only will trying in school make sure that your parents are satisfied, it'll ensure that you have one less thing to worry about while you're playing. Nothing is worse than worrying about your school and your grades while playing competitive Fortnite. Because then you're gonna have a split focus and you won't be able to give anything your 100% full effort. Now it is also important that you guys know your schedule during the school year in order to properly plan out your playing time. Now this gives you the ability to plan ahead and allows you to allocate more time to actually competing and playing in Fortnite. If you know your schedule, there's pretty much nothing that will go on that's out of your control and that can limit you from actually playing Fortnite. And yes, now and again, there are the rare complications like you have to go somewhere, something has come up. However, in terms of just general day-to-day -day basis, knowing your schedule helps you a lot with your time management in terms of playing Fortnite and getting your schoolwork all done. However, with that also comes the opposite side which is you needing to understand that you won't be able to actually play as much as you want to. Sometimes when you have a lot of exams or lots of homework, there will be days where you won't be able to play. However, what really matters is that you are able to schedule yourself to play the tournaments. Now this should be a lot easier considering that FNCS is on Friday in the weekends, and then cash cups are later in the night time, so you're gonna be pretty much done with all of your homework, chores, and sports by then. However, you do need to prepare yourself for the possibility that sometimes on weeknights you won't be able to play. And you need to also make sure that your teammate that you're playing with understands this. Not everybody has all day and every day to play Fortnite, and people do need to adapt to other people's schedules. Especially since this is a team game mode in the FNCS system right now, you definitely need to understand that. However, with the time that you do have to play, it's important that you use that practice time wisely. With the limited time that you have, you need to definitely use it in a smart way. And what I mean by this is that you actually need to play the game rather than wasting time sitting in Discord calls and wasting time scrolling on social media. You need to run scrims, play arena, spend time actually improving within creative. You need to treat this as if you were a professional athlete. If you guys don't know how professional athletes train, I'd recommend you hop on YouTube, check that out. And yes, you might say that, oh, professional athletes have all the time in the world to play because it's their job. While that is true, there was a time where they were all in school just like you guys trying to compete at the highest level they possibly could. And you need to truly understand that to get to the place that they are now, they had to train their absolute hardest with the smallest amount of time possible. This is why you need to use your practice time super wisely, because in the school year, you're going to have very limited time to actually play. And with the time that you are given, it's important that you also have good discipline. Now, what I mean by this is that you need to hold yourself accountable for actually playing. Once again, don't waste your time scrolling on TikTok, spending time on Instagram, spending time on Snapchat. Spend your time actually practicing the game and then focus on those things for leisure later in the day. Now, this is a bit of an abstract tip, but what I would recommend you guys do is actually start to listen to some podcasts, maybe while you're free building, maybe while you're warming up. Start listening to motivational podcasts by people such as Jocko Willing, people such as Joe Rogan. Try to follow the really successful people and then emulate exactly what they did to get to where they are. Podcasts for me have been really helpful and I'd recommend you guys definitely check them out. Not only do they build discipline, but they also let you know the community which with you're trying to enter. And then within this community, you definitely need to have a backup plan in mind. Understand that you may not succeed within the Fortnite competitive world, so you should 100% have a failsafe in the gaming scene if it does fail. 
What you should do is start streaming, start a YouTube channel, start a service or other source of income. You can become a drop map creator, you can become a coach, become someone that actually makes money for what they do. And you can also do that while you're competing during the actual season. And if it doesn't work out, you can transition to making that your full-time job within the Fortnite scene, which is something that I actually did. For me, YouTube was actually a source of secondary income while I was trying to make it in the competitive scene. However, since I wasn't able to go tier one pro, I decided that I was gonna stop and focus fully on YouTube. And for me personally, I love creating videos. I actually think that this was the best Best plan that I had in mind and you guys should definitely do the similar thing now what this will do is not only convince your parents that you actually know what you're doing and have backup plans but in my opinion I think it's a really good way to start earning some money on the side and then you can use that to buy stuff for yourself and then you're gonna need to waste less time focusing on begging your parents for things with their money However, in the end, it all comes down to one important fact that you actually love playing Fortnite and you need to not get bored of it. I know a lot of people will think that they love Fortnite, they'll think that they love playing, but what they really like is the idea of being a professional player. They don't want to put in the hard work that it takes to get there. And obviously with school, with all of these stuff that you have to do, it's very tough sometimes, but you guys definitely need to power through it and you'll 100% make it if you follow all of these tips on how to balance your school and your Fortnite time wisely. But anyways, guys, that is the video on exactly how to balance school in Fortnite. If you guys did enjoy, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel down below. I spent a lot of time making this video and it was actually really eye-opening for me simply because I used to be one of those people who was fully in school, fully enveloped in the system and who had to find a way to balance their time very wisely. And once I did so, I started seeing success and you guys 100% will on top of that. But that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.